Hey everyone, today in this video I'm just going to be giving you a quick overview on how to make some chiptune sounding synth presets within Logic Pro. Now there are a ton of ways to go about making chiptune music in general. This method in particular is just for people who maybe want to work with the comfort of their Logic Pro workstation without downloading any external plugins or using trackers or anything like that. So we're gonna go ahead and create a software instrument track. And for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna go ahead and paste some MIDI into here. Um, you don't need to worry about any of that. Just make sure that the information tab is open so you can see this here. Turn bus one and bus two off because we don't wanna hear any reverb coming through right now. Go to the Plugins tab and scroll down and choose the ES1 Synthesizer. Now this is what the ES1 Synth looks like. Uh, I know it can look kind of intimidating if you haven't used it before, uh, but fear not. I'm just going to be quickly going over some of the features you'll need to know to start building your own presets. So we're going to go up here, uh, scroll down. Ignore all these because those are just presets I've made in the past. You won't see any of those anyway. Go to Synth Keyboards and click on Pure Synth. What this will do is it'll load a preset that serves as a pretty good framework for what we're trying to accomplish here. So if I play the track, you'll hear that it already sounds fairly chiptune-like. Uh, yeah, some great uh, JS Bach MIDI there for all you classical music fans. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, we're going to focus on the oscillator over here. Now, the oscillator has all your different waveforms. Here you have your triangle wave, sawtooth wave, square wave, and you can change the pulse width by adjusting the dial here. Uh, you know what, I'm going to play the track and I'm going to switch between uh, all of these so you can hear how it affects the sound. So yeah, uh, it's pretty neat. Um, I'm going to load up a preset that I made that is set to a 25% pulse width, uh, which you'll typically hear in chiptune music. Um, and then we're going to go down here and look at the low frequency oscillator, or the LFO for short. Um, there's some different things you can change here. There's the uh, waveform, the LFO rate, modulation settings, and what you're actually affecting here. We're going to leave it at pitch for now. Um, and I'm just going to play the track and change some of these so you can hear how it affects what you're listening to. Yeah, so uh, obviously you can get some pretty funky sounds just by messing around with it. Uh, I highly recommend doing that. Uh, then we're go I'm going to pull this down first really quick. We're going to go over here and look at the envelope. Uh, if you've ever used a synthesizer before, this should look fairly familiar to you. You have your standard attack, decay, sustain, release. Um, you know, your attack does like a volume swell. Decay is how long the note lasts. Sustain is... The volume uh, that says uh, consistent and then your release um, leaves a tail uh, after each note. So I'll play it and you'll hear what that sounds like uh, changing each one of those. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Um, if this was helpful, let me know in the comments. Uh, leave a like or subscribe to my channel. And I'll upload more videos like this in the future. So thanks for watching and bye for now.